Angela. I'm glad you came back to see me again. I love talking with you. Um, the reason why half of my head was gone, and when I practiced the shot, my head was in it, but when I recorded it, it wasn't. But the reason why that happened is because I was trying to get this little structure in view, not necessarily for that video, but for this one. Um, so a lot of people would say, oh my gosh, half my head's there, I have to record it and get all flustered and a lot of whack over it. But I'm like my grandmother, my ange angelic mama. She would chuckle at herself. I can, rem I can still remember her and hear her um, chuckling away at herself when she would do something stupid or something happen that was funny or whatever. She'd give out this hearty chuckle and I, I always remembered it. So guess what? I got a little chuckle over the last one. So I, I hope you got some one too. <laughs> anyway, I do want to talk about this beautiful statue. I made it myself. And it was my way of cherishing this, this dog. This was Brad's dog. I hope you can get a good look at me trying to feed Dusty. Dusty was an English setter, not Irish setter, English setter. Notice the color is different. And um, I'm there a little concerned about my hand being eaten because I never fed a dog before. And, um, but she was so gentle. She took it from me so sweetly. And I just fell in love with her. I, I was never allowed to get close to a dog or a cat. My mother had me scared to death of cats. But I would, would have loved to have had a dog, but no, no, no dogs. So anyway, I really cherished um, Dusty and uh, she was, she was with us a good ten, 10 years, I guess. Um, and then she finally passed away. And when she did, um, I tried to hunt, hunt up a ceramic figure that was similar to her. It's not exactly, the ears aren't exactly right. But, um, and I tried to get her coloring, which I think I did pretty good. And by the way, Dusty had the most beautiful eyelashes. And guess what? There are eyelashes, false eyelashes, on this dog. Yes. In fact, I have other um, ceramic creatures in the house, and every one has eyelashes. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> but yeah, it was the first uh, animal I ever, I ever really truly loved. And after that, I started realizing, you know, animals are pretty nice. And um, keep that thought in mind for a little while. Well, actually, for the rest of my life. <laughs> I would like to show you a picture of my brother, my sister, and I. Of course, I'm the oldest. My brother's four years younger. And my sister is eight years younger than me. And we were all happy. <laughs> of course, I'm the one with the long hair. My brother's in the middle with his army uh, uniform on, and my sister, Anna Marie, is there also. And the picture was taken because my brother was going into the army. And um, into the army he went. And he had some pretty uh, hairy experiences, I would, I would say, but... Um, that's for him to tell. I'm not going to relay those. And here's another picture, picture of me. And this was all around the same time period in the fall of 75. And here I am up again at the cabin. And I'm pointing to a little Christmas tree on the ground. I don't know if you can see me doing that. But there's a little Christmas tree down on the ground. And I was so tuned into nature. 
Mm, I was just, I was so happy. It was, I was so happy. You know? Never, I'll never forget these times. No, they're, they're priceless. Of course, doing this episode, Daring to Dare, Chapter 4, Unconditional Love, Part 4, I've had to research and go through a lot of pictures, and it brings back happy memories and some very sad memories, but these are happy memories, what I showed you at this, uh, this part. So, I'm going to leave you with that. Um... Please comment. I, I would love to hear your comments. Please tell your friends about me and have them get on the bandwagon. As I said in my last video, there are some very interesting things, um, some unusual things. They're not coming up right away, but there's one unusual thing that I don't know of anybody, and I've talked to a lot of people about this, I don't know that anybody has experienced this one. Yeah, this was a biggie. And um, I'll be, I'll, I, I can't wait to tell you about it, but I'm doing this chronologically. So, that has to wait a little bit. Have a wonderful day. Please come back. Here's my au revoir kiss. See you again, bye.